passed out. Then he was like, yo, he was like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we can just hang out. We gotta, we gotta oh, kick that. it. This is fuck. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this <laughs> just say? <laughs> Recent developments have thrust Diddy back into the spotlight, though not for his contributions to music or entertainment. Instead, the mogul finds himself embroiled in a scandal that has sparked considerable legal and public scrutiny. The nature of the allegations against Diddy involves federal agents raiding his properties in LA and Miami as part of a sex trafficking investigation. Conducted by Homeland Security Investigations, the serious turn of events sees Diddy's name mentioned in the same breath as infamous figures such as Jeffrey Epstein and Art Kelly raising questions about the severity and implications of the charges he faces. Legal expert Naima Rahmani provides a detailed analysis of the situation, comparing the legal frameworks and public reactions surrounding the cases of Epstein and Kelly to Diddy's current predicament. The comparison is pertinent due to the high-profile nature of all individuals involved and the serious nature of the accusations, which include exploitation and abuse. Rahmani explains that while Epstein and Kelly were both ultimately convicted for their crimes, the early stages of their cases involved public disbelief and significant legal challenges, similar to what Diddy might face. Rahmani emphasizes the potential legal strategies that could be employed in Diddy's defense, noting that the outcome will heavily depend on the evidence gathered during the investigation, including any digital evidence seized during the raids. Furthermore, Rahmani discusses the broader impact of such high-profile cases on the entertainment industry, highlighting a growing public demand for accountability and transparency. While Diddy's lawyer has vehemently described the raid as a witch hunt and dismissed the accusations as meritless, the legal proceedings and intense media coverage continue to unfold. The situation places Diddy's career and legacy under the microscope, as the legal expert underscores the potential ramifications of the investigation, not only for Diddy, but for the broader societal standards concerning behavior and accountability in the public eye. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. And then... Sean Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend, Misa Hilton, posted a compilation of short scenes from a raid inside the rapper's Los Angeles home. A law enforcement source told CNN the raid was connected to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Hilton uploaded the heavily edited footage on Instagram on April 3rd, criticising the quote overtly militarised force used against her son Justin and Combs' other son Christian, who were at the home when it was raided. A senior federal law enforcement official told CNN heavily armed teams from Homeland Security Investigations searched Combs' homes in part because it was believed there were armed private security at each of his residences. On March 25th, an alarming development occurred involving Sean Combs, or Diddy, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Federal agents executed coordinated raids at two of his residences, one in LA and another in Miami. These raids are a significant part of a broader federal sex trafficking investigation. This investigation is not just about recent activities, but includes allegations that span across decades, pointing to a deeply rooted issue that may have been overlooked or hidden due to Diddy's status and influence in the music and entertainment sectors. The involvement of Homeland Security investigations indicates the seriousness of the allegations and the scale of the potential network that could be uncovered. The federal agent's decision to seize multiple electronic devices during the raids suggests that they are in search of extensive digital evidence that could shed light on these long-standing accusations. This case draws public and media scrutiny not only because of Diddy's celebrity status but also due to the nature of the allegations, which involve exploitation vulnerable individuals for sexual purposes, the ongoing legal proceedings will likely provide a clearer picture of the extent and veracity of these serious accusations as the investigation continues to unravel the details of this complex case. Here we have Keith D confessing that he was hired by Diddy for one million to kill Tupac or Sugar Knight. Million dollar question. On all, all four of those occasions of San Diego, Anaheim, Irvine, and Vegas, which ones do you actually talk to Puffy at? Every one of them. Every one of them. Which of those four is it when you talk to him about murdering Tupac? It was really 
那酒吧，包括我们那那啤酒馆，我们有啥？去发电，去发电，去移民。对对。哎，对，有结婚证的朋友们都有的，有。对，今年已经可以开车。Yeah, he said he's in front of all those people. I can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? In Anaheim? Yeah. All alone, full of friends. You know what I'm saying? He's worried about something happening. Yeah. He and Miles talking about a bunch of different stuff, so he was scared. He was scared to death, yeah. Okay. Okay. You want the million? Um, you said you walked downstairs. Did he say, come meet me downstairs? Yeah, he said, come on downstairs and talk to me. Okay. Rahmani, a renowned legal expert, has weighed in on the severe potential outcomes of the charges against Diddy, following the recent raids at Diddy's properties and the serious nature of the federal sex trafficking allegations against him. The legal stakes are extremely high. Rahmani points out that the charges currently being considered carry no minor penalties, given the gravity of these allegations, which suggest prolonged and systemic abuse. A conviction could lead to Diddy facing a life sentence. Rahmani underscores is the grim reality of such a scenario, where Diddy could effectively spend the remainder of his life in prison. This potential outcome highlights the serious consequences of the charges and the intense scrutiny under which the legal system places such high-profile cases. The accusations against Diddy have triggered a cascade of events, casting a wide net that impacts not only Diddy himself, but also a vast array of individuals connected to him. From former partners to business associates, the scope of this federal sex trafficking investigation extends far beyond the personal boundaries of a single individual. The ripple effects of such allegations are profound, as they prompt scrutiny and potential reassessment of the relationships and agreements individuals and companies have with the mogul. The involvement of high-profile figures like Diddy in such serious allegations can lead to a re-evaluation of his professional collaborations and ventures. Business partners and sponsors might distance themselves to protect their own reputations, while artists and creatives associated with these labels could face collateral consequences in public perception and their professional networks. Furthermore, this situation could lead to introspective considerations within the entertainment industry about the standards of conduct and the mechanisms in place to prevent abusers of power. Moreover, the investigation could need new revelations about the dynamics within the circle Diddy operate in, potentially implicating or exonerating other figures in the process. The legal and ethical implications of this case are substantial, making it a significant point of discussion about accountability and ethics in the realms of fame and business. The outcome of this investigation will likely influence how similar cases are viewed and handled in the future, setting precedents for responsibility and transparency in high-stakes environments. The problem with that is, look, we're still at the initial stages. There's so much we don't know about this. But remember, we are talking about the feds going in here on what is possibly a sex trafficking investigation, possibly RICO charges. This will take some time. There are reports right now that people are being issued subpoenas in order to build up this investigation. If you take the allegations in these lawsuits as true, and I've read all of them, I believe the timing of it suggests that these plaintiffs are help cooperating with the government. These are incredibly serious charges that would not only warrant this level of force, but also would be very, very problematic and possibly captured on this digital evidence. I mean, there was an allegation that Combs had cameras in all of his houses, captured everything, maybe as a potential form of blackmail. This is what they're going through right now, all, everything that they've recovered from and, the home. And yet as Diddy faces severe accusations, public sentiment is sharply divided. Social media platforms have erupted into fervent discussions, with a significant portion of the audience expressing solidarity and support for the alleged victims, emphasizing the importance of listening to and validating their experiences. Conversely, others advocate for restraint urging the public to avoid a rush to judgment until more facts are revealed. This polarized reaction highlights the complexities of high-profile legal cases in today's world, where public opinion often swings dramatically based on emerging details and the prevailing sentiments of online communities. Investigation into sex trafficking involving Sean Diddy Combs was confirmed. Now, he's denied all the allegations, and so far there have been no arrests. Everything does seem quiet, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes 
remains as this investigation moves forward. Enforcement sources tell me the raids of Combs homes in Los Angeles and Miami, which were the result of court authorized search warrants, yielded a variety of evidence. They're also reviewing the digital evidence recovered during the search warrants. They're probably issuing subpoenas and they may be conducting other types of searches that wouldn't be in public view. Historical cell site information, emails, that sort of thing. With his future uncertain, what lies ahead of Sean Combs, or did he? Can he navigate through this storm? Or will these allegations cast a permanent shadow over his legacy? From music legend to facing life behind bars, today's story is a stark reminder of how quickly fortunes can change. Thank you for joining us on The Realm. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the lives of those who shape our culture. Goodbye.